Hello and welcome back to my studio. In this video we're going to discuss Alla Prima painting and I'm going to demonstrate it for you as well. Now if you've been wondering what Alla Prima painting is, it is simply a painting that is completed in one session. With an Alla Prima painting you don't want to laboriously draw out an image you don't want to spend time with the underpainting and letting that dry. You simply want to react in a spontaneous way to your subject, starting to paint quickly with active, strong brush strokes, lots of paint, bold brush strokes as well. The whole idea is to capture the essence of the scene, a moment that has attracted you and you need to move quickly and react to it by putting paint down in a way that is energetic, captivating and beautiful to look at. Now Alla Prima is more commonly associated with the Impressionists, especially going outdoors and doing a quick painting. Sometimes the painting may look unfinished and it's no more than a, a sketch in oil paints. But that painting often inspires further and more considered work perhaps in the studio or another visit to the scene outdoors. Of course you want to avoid reworking the painting or going over it many times in which case you may end up losing that fresh and spontaneous look. So Alla Prima is about acting in the moment and it's a great way to learn how to paint, especially if you want to achieve the painterly or impressionist kind of look. So what I want to show you today is an Alla Prima approach in my studio. I've taken a subject that I may have found outdoors. I am in fact working from a reference that I took down at the beach. So I'm going to try and get that same sort of mood and reaction in the studio as well. And I encourage you to try this method. You could, for instance, set a timer to perhaps half an hour, 40 minutes or an hour even. If that sounds exciting to you, then I encourage you to have a look at some of my other videos you'll find here on YouTube as well. You'll find those on the end roll of this video as well. So let's have a look at the Alla Prima approach in the studio. I'm going to do a little seascape with some figures in it and getting stuck in with the big mass shapes. Just block those in. Look for the easy big shapes using your large brush and try and cover as much of the canvas or panel as quickly as you can, getting those shapes out of the way. I'm using a number eight bristle brush and it really does help to get in a lot of paint very quickly. A rough shape of a wave and then the lighter water in the foreground, just getting a few marks where I'm going to have the wave uh, crashing over as sort of a secondary focal point. And getting down to the bottom of the panel for the focal part of the panel, the, the focus of this painting, going to be these two children coming out of the uh, water, been playing in the sea. And I just rough those figures in very quickly with uh, some burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. And I, this is why I really like these long flat brushes. The edge of the brush gives me a fairly delicate shape for this type of painting. And I don't waste time trying to get any fine details, just get those shapes in. Cutting in a bit with the background color of the water. I'd rather do the initial shape fairly large and then cut in and adapt the shape to correct it. Also try and work as much of the painting as possible. So now I've got the figures 
the sort of outline of the figures in. I'll go to the rest of the painting, try and fill that up. So it's about working e every part of the painting as quickly as you can. I don't want to get stuck on one part of the painting for too long. Now if you are going to paint outdoors a good tip is get your shadow pattern in as quickly as possible right from the start because those shadows are going to change pretty quickly. Also have lots of uh, tissue paper on hand to clean your brush. Every few strokes clean your brush off so you don't end up with muddy paint. When you're doing figures like this, look for the light and dark and warm and cool color shapes. Don't try and paint eyes and noses and fine details. That's not what you want at all. Just get those shapes in and suggest what's going on. I'm using a very limited palette of colors, warm and cool of the primaries, some white paint, a bit of burnt sienna. For my warm and cool blues, it's cerulean and ultramarine, cerulean being the cool one. So those colors pretty much take care of everything else. I've got some alizarin crimson coming into the sandy colors in the foreground. And my flesh tones are mostly burnt sienna and I uh, warm them up or cool them down as required. Bit of yellow paint in burnt sienna gives you a nice warm color. Then before finishing off the figures I'm going to get into the final layers for the rest of the painting. Just get that out of the way. Bit of suggestion of clouds in the sky some highlights with thick impasto on the waves. Notice I do put in yellow with the white paint. White on its own is just simply too cold. So get some yellow in there. Finishing things off with uh, some suggestions of rippling water and sparkle on the water. A bit warmer color in the foreground to bring that up a bit more. Cutting in here and there to help suggest a shape or two and then I'm going to add in a few final touches. Just getting a bit of a diagonal line in here for some energy and interest in the foreground. And now using a round bristle brush, a bit smaller this time. I think this is a size 4. And getting in a few of those final touches, a bit of warmth and highlights on the edges of the figures, a few highlights here and there. Be careful to keep your edges soft, you don't want them all too hard edged, it makes it look 
a bit unnatural. Um, these figures would be moving, so I want the, I don't want them too static. And I'm pretty much getting to the end of this. So I've worked pretty quickly. I think this was about a 40 minute painting. So a bit of speed does help to simulate that outdoor experience and get a nice a la prima painting. Well, I hope that little demonstration was useful to you and you got a few ideas and methods you can try out for yourself in your studio right now. Set up the timer, get your subject, put the paints out and dive in. Who knows what may happen. Now, if you like this approach or the painterly style of painting, have a look at these videos you'll find at the end roll of this video and also links below and check them out and then uh, have a go yourself. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you again probably in a week's time. So be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll do some painting again soon.